Hello and welcome everybody to another video in Total War Arena. Today we'll be looking at the brand new Barbarian units. Woo! Or, well, at least one of them. We'll be looking at the other ones as I unlock them. But today we'll be looking at the Tier 4 Warriors. Just released today. Um, they're looking nice and snazzy, aren't they? Now, we'll get into this in a little bit, but there's actually customization on these guys. And uh, like I said, we'll talk about that in a second. So, the Barbarian Warriors just added today. Excellent. They're uh, an, So far, I'm having a lot of fun with them. Uh, it seems that everybody's doing pretty good with them, and uh, it's a welcome addition because they are definitely very fun to play as. And it's it's nice to have light, uh, more light units in the game other than uh, just hoplites and legionnaires and shit like that. Uh, if we quickly take a look at their stats, um, you can see they have a morale of 93, which is average. Uh, I think it's the same as the Romans. Their health is 213, which I believe is also uh, the same as the Roman units. I may be wrong there, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, then, of course, their armor is a little bit lacking. Uh, 111 isn't terrible. And uh, with the upgrades I have now, it's plus 25. So that's actually 136, which is better than um, the starting armor for, let's say, Italian Noble Infantry. But, of course, Italian Noble Infantry with upgrades is better than better armor than these guys. Uh, the visibility range is 150 because they're light. So they have an advantage in spotting units before they can spot you. Their melee attack is 77, which is pretty average. Um, it's right up there with the sword infantry of the Romans. Uh, they have a little bit lower melee defense due to, uh, like, they're not as, you know, protective of themselves. Uh, the weapon damage is actually higher than uh, some of the units at this tier. Actually, most of the weapons at this tier. And uh, the missile block chance is uh, pretty, pretty low at 22. Um... But yeah, anyway, let's get to actually, you know, comparing this to the Tier 4 units. So first we'll start off with the Greeks. Uh, we have the Levy Pikemen. So, of course, this comparison is going to be a little weird against Pikemen, but uh, just try to bear with me. So, um, the Barbarians have 7 more morale, uh, 10 more health, uh, 17 less armor, uh, 25 more visibility range, 2 extra melee attack. Uh, they have the same melee defense. The weapon damage of the uh, warriors is much higher than the weapon damage of the pikemen. And their missile block chance is the same. So yeah, but of course, the abilities that the pikemen have, yada yada yada, they bang, that makes the stats completely different. Uh, then we look at the premium Spartan hoplites, which are at this tier. Um, the barbarians have more morale. They have 10 more armor. I mean, uh, rather, 10 more health. They have a bit more armor. Actually, quite a bit more armor. They have the same visibility range because they're both light. Uh, the Barbarians have a high, higher melee attack, a much lower melee defense, and quite a bit higher weapon damage, and their missile block chance is the same. So, um, I think these guys would be pretty equal, uh, especially if both fighting in the woods. I mean, the defensive power of the Hoplites would just clash with the offensive power of the... <laughs> of, um, these warriors so it'd be it'd be an interesting fight it would come down to the abilities and actions of the commanders I, I would assume uh, so then we march right into the Roman tech tree with the Italian nobles uh, you can see they have the same morale same health uh, they have the barbarians have slightly less armor more visibility range uh, like not even noticeable less melee attack um, their weapon dam uh, melee defense is five less or six rather uh, they have more weapon damage and a lower missile block chance. So, um, if you fight, of course, these these guys are medium. The, all these guys are medium except for the uh, Spartan Hoplites. If you fight these guys in the woods, you're probably going to win because uh, the the nerf to the uh, medium infantry in the woods is enough that you can actually go in your favor with them. Uh, and then wrapping it off, we got the Italian Spearmen, who have uh, less morale than the Barbarians. They have less health, uh, a little bit more armor, Less visibility range, less melee attack, quite a bit more melee defense though, as they're a spear unit. Um, they have ten less weapon damage, and they have a higher block chance, missile block chance. So yeah, that's all the other tier four infantry units. Um, now let's get to what I was talking about with the customization on these guys. Um, so let's just start off with what they. Let's just give them what they start off with. This is what you start with. So of course, uh, as soon as you get this helmet, you're just gonna want to go for that. There's no other options. It just gives extra stuff. But you have the option of being fast 
and li like super light or heavy and more of a defensive like you can actually survive a bit um like you you can give yourself like w the war paint which gives you more melee attack and speed at the cost of armor and uh let's say like you gave them these tiny shields um that's going to give you more shield defense and shield that's going to give you shield defense and shield armor and bash but uh less missile block chance but uh that bash ability is very useful uh of course swords it, if you get the sword you're just going to upgrade it and then um uh, yeah like you can choose these guys to be light or heavy um honestly they were fun light uh they're super quick when they're like this i that plus 3% per speed actually does kind of work uh it doesn't s sound like much but it they were faster than ones that were wearing armor um but um i've personally once i unlock the uh the warrior's chainmail i've just been using it i haven't used anything else but yeah, it's nice that they actually have some options. And I mean, if we go and look at the... Oh, uh, let me... Yeah. Uh, if we look at the Proven Warriors, they also have the same options. Uh, they can have Opiate War Paint and Fine Warriors Chainmail and stuff. And uh, different hair and helmets and such. It, it's just little options that actually add to the game, which is nice. Um, so if I was to... Oh, it seems that they... There we go. <laughs> that was weird. Their uh, textures weren't... Well they, well, they weren't wearing the right equipment. That was weird. But I mean, yeah, like, I finally learned, by the way, to keep light infantry in the woods. And when you see in the two replays that I have to show you today, um, one being with the light equipment and one being with the heavier equipment, um, you'll see that the woods are your playground, really. If you fight anybody in the woods, you're probably going to destroy them. Uh, of course, unless you come up against a more upgraded uh, warrior unit. But, um, like... I think in one of the replays I'm going to show you, there's even a moment where I take on someone's cavalry. And, um, these guys don't get damaged very much. I might not, I don't know, I don't know. But there was a game where I attacked cavalry with these guys, and I don't know, they somehow managed to do good. It was kind of weird. But, uh, I'm not complaining. Uh, so right before we get into the more interesting part, we'll just look at the, uh, com uh commander options. Of course, they have Frenzy and Momentum and all that good stuff from Arminius. Uh, then they have Bash, because of these tiny shields, if you unlock them. Um, bash is super useful because it upgrade it puts up your melee damage and it also knocks down people, uh, much like the shield bash of the Spartan hoplites. It's awesome. Uh, and then you have five consumable options. You have spar, feast, swear oaths, dirt pouches, and brandish heads. So basically, uh, shield armor, melee attack, melee damage, uh, armor piercing melee da or whatever armor piercing damage, uh, charge bonus and speed, minus nine melee defense for uh, enemy units, nine, nine minus not. Minus 9, there we go, percent, uh, rather, and minus 9% melee attack. So what I personally use is uh, Spar and Feast for the extra melee damage and armor piercing damage, um, and the shield armor and the melee attack, because that, as you can see, their stats are boosted quite high. Um, of course, this shield is actually taking their missile block chance down to 17, but um, it's, so, it's already low enough that it doesn't really matter. Uh, these guys are fast. You can get them... If you get them into combat, usually people won't shoot at you, of course, unless they're dicks and they do friendly fire to their own team. But um, in that case, it's, for, it's to your advantage anyway, so who cares? Um, but yeah, nice all-around unit. So uh, without further ado, let's just get to the replays. So welcome to the first game uh, of this video. This was the game where I unlocked the, uh, the non-armored <laughs> uh, equipment for the warriors here. So I decide, since we're on Salerno, I'm not going for that damn city. I learned my lesson from the Spartan Hoplites. And uh, I'm not going to make you guys watch a video that doesn't make any sense this time. So I'm going to actually show you how you should use these guys. So we're going to be sticking to these woods. Um, because I don't, I don't know why. I assumed like, oh, the Hoplites. Yeah, I was like, yeah, this guy. This guy was me. I am this guy. Hoplites, you know, they're good in the city. Um, that's a good idea. But uh, no, you guys, you guys uh, cer certainly... Stepped onto that. I almost went to select my own units then for a second. Because I thought I was playing. Wonderful. Um, so I'm going through here. I haven't even used... Oh, yes, I did. Okay. It's weird. In the replay, it's all changed. Um, so, yeah. I just I just march all the way through these woods. Because I'm like, well, screw that. There's no armor. I'm not going out in the open. Um, and I have another unit of warriors joining me. Uh, over here. So the enemy has made... Con Since it's boring over here, I'll just, take a I'll just show you guys this while I talk. Um, some warriors went into the town. That's definitely something I wouldn't do. These guys are pretty much the same level of equipment as me, and uh, they're fighting other warriors. <laughs> what a great, what a great fight! Warriors versus warriors in the city. 
Um, if we take a look at the entire map, yeah, they actually poured in quite a bit here. Interesting. I don't know why it always selects a random unit. Um, so we're still going through the woods. Uh, somehow this unit gets really slow and stops. It doesn't get catch up to these guys. Weird. Uh, let's see. I still haven't seen anything there. Oh, actually, never mind. We've made contact here. Um, I believe... I played this earlier today, so I'm not quite sure. I believe I uh, come down here to help him. Yes. And I think someone cuts me off here. Or maybe I don't notice them until later. Maybe I don't go for these guys at all. Who knows? Uh, no, I'm not actually going for them. This is when I see those guys. This is where... This is where the visibility range comes into handy. These guys in the woods, these guys don't see them. These warriors can't see them. I can see them clearly, though. And this uh, this gives me a big advantage over these guys, and you'll see that. Um, I actually popped infiltration here, so these guys didn't even know I was an, I was an enemy. Look at this. They, they don't even know. So I caught these cavalry by surprise. And look how much damage I, I managed to do. Uh, these guys start throwing javelins, though, the little buggers. Uh, that's another thing. These guys have pre uh, precursor javelin, or not precursor. Nothing's really precursor in uh, this game, but uh, they have javelins, which I I haven't used yet, uh, which is kind of foolish. But look, I I took down like a third of his total cavalry, so uh, that's pretty useful. Uh, I decided not even to get bother uh, get involved here. They completely wiped those guys out, no problem. So then I start clashing with the enemy infantry. Um, of course, they are more armored than I am, so in a prolonged fight, I won't be doing so well against them as they would against me. But uh, I completely screwed over this Cav player. He's like, oh man, I gotta run away now and stuff. Don't get any kills. Um, and yeah, you can just see that my men are getting kind of stomped. But I'm holding them in spot, in spot, in place for my allies to come in. And if you take a look, we've already racked up over a thousand points. Uh, I decided to make my, uh, take my two biggest units out of that fight and leave this one as a sacrificial lamb, pretty much. Uh, so they get wiped out, but oh well. And then um, that guy, like, I don't know what just happened there. He went blue for a second. That was weird. I don't think he popped uh, infiltration or anything. But yeah. So I decided to flank around. This guy completely turns his attention to my friend, uh, which just let, well, not my friend, but my ally. That just lets me charge right in. Um, I don't get the best charge in the world because they get caught up on some of the other enemy units. But I mean, it's enough. Uh, we start decimating them. Getting chopped down from both sides from four units of warriors. Five units of warriors, rather. Uh, this unit just breaks under the pressure. They're like, oh, screw that. Screw that, man. And uh, these two will follow soon enough. Um, yeah, our, our team has started capturing the base, which is quite interesting. Um, no, one's, no one's there to defend it, apparently. Um, we're taking a huge lead, as you can see now, as well. Uh, this guy tries to flank around with his uh, returning unit of warriors. I think I noticed this and send one of my units against him. Yeah, I turned them around uh, just in time before they charge in. Uh, they still get a charge, of course, knocking down some of my men, but it wasn't as bad as if they rear charged me. And, uh, yeah, I, I still wish there was a bit of a speed up function here so I could just, like, you know, like, speed it up a little bit, watch this melee unfold, and then when I start moving, I. Uh, put it back at normal speed but well whatever as you can see they just got that was a failed attempt to uh rear charge us they just got destroyed I, I charge back into them and all that good stuff and they start breaking there we go and we cause we cause a mass route as you can see it might look like we're gonna win but uh there's still a huge amount of time left so um you know what that means it gets reset but yeah uh this was actually the full match I, I, I guess, because, well, the timer started at 15 minutes, so. <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah, we're like, yeah, you guys, can, you can clean those guys up. We'll just keep going. Us and our little bowler hats. Oh, those helmets are so silly looking. This is another moment where I wish there was a speed up function. Maybe they'll add it later. I'm, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it'd be nice if I could just speed this up so we're like, wee, wee, we get over here. But, yeah, whatever. This isn't even a proper replay system yet, so. It can't complain. Cannot complain. Fighting. You're not fighting, so shut up. What do you think you're talking about? But yeah, I mean, you can see even against uh, the starting armor, these guys are still pretty good. Uh, they still they die, of course, because they're not as armored. 
But um, it's not like they're completely defensive, uh, defensive, defenseless. Good lord, I can't talk today. Um, I'm just too excited, man. Playing these units exciting me. Um, but they're not completely defenseless against uh, equivalent units. So I'm just marching around up here, trying to look for stuff that I could possibly attack. I uh, wanted to go after those guys because, man, oh man, artillery gives you a lot of points for attack for taking it out. It's hilarious. Like you can get like a thousand points off like a big unit of artillery. Which is quite weird. Um, so I see that these guys are here. So I'm like, oh, you know what? Well, I'll just fight them. Whatever. I'll get a rear charge in on them. And we'll see. We In about a second, we will get right behind them. I see these cav coming up. I'm like, oh, no. But uh, they, they just turned around. So I was like, okay, I'll just carry on then. So, yeah, you can see I get the rear charge here. Uh, I don't even think I get that good of a charge. They just, yeah, they just stopped right in front of, or right next to them, which kind of sucked. But uh, it delivers enough of a morale hit that they break, I believe. Yep, there you go. And then I pop uh, Frenzy, and we just chop them down. And you can see that their points just rise, rise, rise because of that. So uh, it's looking pretty bleak for the enemy team. Uh, they're down over 2,000 points. Uh, we outnumber them by about 400 men. It's a pretty rough situation. Now, this uh, this gives the this gives the example of why light armored skirmishers are better than those heavily armored ones that I reviewed. These guys I can't catch. I'm using the naked, basically, uh, tier four warriors, and you can't catch them. They are too fast to be caught. Uh, they actually end up killing most of my men. And uh, if nothing else really interesting happens, I may actually just. Uh, cut it out. So if it cuts out, you know, they have, I just chase skirmishers for the rest of the match. <laughs> but um, this actually gives me the chance to charge these guys, and this is where I, this is what I'm talking about. Look at my points. Look how fast it goes up when you kill artillery units. Holy cow! Like just like that, just like that. Ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that the the rest of this is just me chasing skirmishers and getting killed. Uh, nothing else really interesting happens. So let's get to the armored uh, replay. So welcome to the other replay of this video. This is where I actually have the guys all armored up uh, using the special shields and all that good stuff. And uh, before we get into this, look at that. It's Haxo the Hunter. Woo! Hey, Haxo. Uh, if you don't know who Haxo is, he's a YouTuber slash streamer. I'll have his link down in the description. Cool guy. Uh, just ran into him in this game. We were chatting up and stuff. Uh, chat doesn't appear in these replays, which is probably a good thing, honestly. Um, but yeah, be sure to check him out. He's a cool guy, and he streams Arena every couple of days or something like that. I think so. I think he has a schedule, but it's like every couple of days or some some cool stuff like that. But anyway, he's running the exact same thing as me because he's streaming. He was streaming as we were playing. Wow! So I'm on his stream, and now you're on YouTube yourself, Haxo. So have fun with that. Um, but anyway, as you can see, pretty much everybody's playing like barbarians, so they're like, we're all going for the woods. <laughs> so I decide, yeah, you know what, we got like four people going up there. I'm going to go this way. So yeah, then I, I, I was going this way, and then I was like, yeah, let's go this way. Or let's go this way. Yeah, whatever. It's weird that right now uh, we're the red team, so I'm going to be looking at blue people and be like, oh, it's my team right here. <laughs> but that's actually the enemy. Um, I see those cav, and I'm like, you know what, I'll go that way too. Whatever. But then, uh, ultimately, I just decide to go and sneak up behind these guys. But we'll get to that when it happens. Uh, as you can see, this guy's just getting brutalized. Oh, jeez, I just, like, exploded my microphone. He's getting brutalized by artillery. Haha, <laughs> get it? Brutality? Ha. 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 So funny. Um, so, yeah, I can see our, our uh, team, including Haxo, has set up, like, a defensive line in the forest, pretty much. Uh, they get javelin right in their faces. And uh, then they, they go in for the charge. They're going for the kill. Uh, and I'm still just going down here, just chilling. Making my way downtown. I don't know the words that stupid song. I'm, so I'm not even <laughs> going to continue. What am I talking about? Um, so then I see a bunch of the infantry here. So I'm like, oh, charge! And then I'm like, wait a minute. They don't see me. Let's infiltrate. So in a, any second, I pop infiltrate. And they don't see me. And these cav right here. They don't see me either. They see me as one of their own. It's so awesome. I love infiltration. I haven't seen many people use it, though. I haven't become the uh, 
I haven't become the uh, victim of infiltration either yet, which is quite interesting. Uh, but, like, these guys don't notice me. That cav was coming this way, and they're like, oh, you know what? This is just our friends. Let's keep going this way. Like, look at this. That's enemy cav that they can see me, and they don't care. So I get the rear charge in on these guys. Uh, I should pop the pin uh, red now. There, there we go. So, yeah, they didn't expect that at all. I get the n nice rear charges in on them. Uh, someone over here picked up on me, though, and uh, they're they're shooting into my back, which kind of sucks. But uh, it's too late. Your friends are dead. Ha, ha, ha. Too late for you. Uh, they do do a lot of damage, so I lose most of my men, honestly. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. And you can see Haxo the Hunter kicking some ass. Uh, he's doing a lot of damage to these guys. So let's see. I get a. I just keep charging in and using. I just keep using frenzy charge and shield bash. And bash is really helping because while I'm rear charging them, I'm using bash and it's pushing them into my allies so that that makes them die faster, which is awesome. Uh, and as you can see, we're just getting bombarded at this point. So I'm like, oh no, get out of there, run! I just decided to run. Um, as you can see, I have quite a few men left. Actually, I didn't run. Ah, yes, I was gonna run, and then uh, these cav came in, so I charged into them. And uh, I don't know why he charges Cav. He kind of just got them, like, destroyed. But, yeah. Uh, these guys are just doing super amounts of damage. These damn little velites, velites, however you pronounce that. Um, so I start running this way. One of my allies is running this way as well, but I think he gets, like, wiped out or something. Yeah. So I start sending my men that way. Oh. Get out of here. I didn't lose my men. <laughs> it was making me, uh, it was putting me in the perspective of somebody else. That was weird. But as you can see, I start chasing them off. They're like, oh no, run! But yeah. Uh, and all this enemy cavalry here is getting wiped out. No problem. Actually, there's a bunch more. Look at all this. These, this guy's suicidal for some reason. Like, damn. And he, he actually hits this unit and doesn't wipe it out. They start killing the cav that hit them. Like, what in the world? Uh, you can see these guys are just taking me on a little journey around the map here. Um, so I decided, screw you guys. I'm going to go back up here. My cav can deal with you. They weren't even paying attention. I mean, look, look at that. Get wrecked. Um, so the cav assault, what a shock. It was a failure. They just got absolutely massacred. Um, you can see that <laughs> this wasn't even fair. We're at 12,000 points, and they're at 3,500. That's ridiculous. I feel bad. Uh, games like this always make me sad. Uh, we can't see how well the enemy team did, but me and Haxo took the top two spots. Uh, I think I keep the second spot. This guy might pass me. He did pass me. How dare he. But, um, yeah, I just take my units. I don't really know what to do with them. I, th I thought I'd go back to base because I thought um, they were in trouble, but you can see that they're not in trouble at all. They're getting, they're kicking these guys' asses. And uh, in a few seconds, I believe, I realize I'm just like, no, I won't go back there. I'll go this way. Which I think I realize right about now? How about now? No, apparently not. Uh, but anyway... I eventually turn around. Uh, these guys have just been, they're just chilling here. This is where I turn around. There we go. Uh, because I see there's some enemy units here. There's a big unit of uh, hoplites and stuff, and their artillery is over here. So I'm like, you know what? I'll go over there. I'll go after their artillery. And that's what I did. So I march over there. And uh, I attempt to try to get around the artillery. But sadly, um, I don't get to them before everybody else so I don't get all those sweet tasty points well, that's no big deal um, I still do get some of the units I believe I don't know why this guy just hopped off and started running towards the enemy that was kind of silly but whatever uh, you can see that they're just getting actually my uh... oh that's Haxel never mind Haxel survives this he ends up destroying these hoplites eventually and you can see that his points are skyrocketing because of uh, the mix of fighting artillery crew and uh, all these other things. And I'm just I'm just now getting over here. I'm like, oh, I can taste the blood of the artillery. Come on. Let's go. So they actually ran into me. And uh, I attempted charging into them, but that didn't really work. I kill a few of them. But uh, not before Mr. Fatality here comes and uh, takes 
takes all the sweet points. But um, yeah, av after these units get caught up, I just go to the cap circle. So honestly, I don't really need to show all of that either. But we do win this game, believe it or not. I mean, like, look at those scores. It was pretty close. I mean, like, geez, I was worried for a little bit. But um, <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, this has been the focus on the brand new Barbarian Tier 4 Warriors unit. I hope you enjoyed. Again, be sure to go check out Hacksaw the Hunter. Awesome guy. Awesome videos. Awesome streams. Everything awesome. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like and a comment as always. And this has been Overkill as always, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.